Hey guys, uh, King Cheerio eighty five here um, with uh, what what maybe uh, first of a few videos with the uh, PlayStation Classic. I don't know. We'll see. Um, so yeah, I got the uh, PlayStation Classic because they you know they <laughs> they discounted it ridiculously since it wasn't moving anywhere. Uh, I'm trying to convince some buddies to get it too, but I got it for strictly for the purpose of basically having my own plug and play and be able, you know, plug and play console that I can play any PS1 game that I wanted to on there. Like, I've, I've somehow amassed them, a few of them over the years, but never actually had a PlayStation, so. Um, and yet, yeah, then along comes Bleem Sync, which is an amazing program. I love that, uh, you know, big thanks to the guys behind that. Um, but, uh, you know, as I was going through, I did run into some difficulties. Um... One, it, like, I, I I had to have gone and bought, like, seven different um, USB sticks trying to find one that worked. And when I did find one that worked, it was, like, you know, pretty tiny. Like, I, I, I think I found, finally found one um, USB 2.0 PNY 32 gig, which, you know, it's a decent size, but it takes, like, it can take upwards of 10 minutes to load, but it works. It works fine. Um, I got on the forums to see if there was, like, any type of uh, resolution to that issue. And every single time I did, um, I usually end up finding, you know, one or two posts here in every 10 or 15 of people that had the same problems that I was having of, um, th them being, uh, recommended to get a powered USB hub. Ooh, now that's getting stuck there. All right. Um, so... I uh, am just making this video because I am, I am noticing that even after um, getting recommended, a lot of these guys getting recommended to get powered USB hubs, there still seems to be some confusion as far as what a powered USB hub is. Um, even like even if you're just going to shop for it, um, I've got two things here which I'm going to show the difference for. Um, this, all right. And when I went to Best Buy, um, this was the first thing the uh, associate took me to. This was not a powered USB hub. This is a USB charging hub. I picked it up anyway because I actually did need it. But this still wasn't really what I was after. Um, but this, is, this, this would be a USB charging hub or commonly just referred to as a brick. Um, just four ports on it so I can have multiple devices. Now... The uh, powered USB hub, that's what I've got right here. Alright, so it's independently powered, has its own plug, and we'll just plug right in there, and it works the exact same way, it's just your USB stick. You just plug your USB stick into port 1 right there, plug this in, Oop, uh, yeah, and you're good to go. And, um, ever since then, every single USB stick I had bought works perfectly. Um, it all works perfectly with BleemSync. I get the games loaded. And now, um, I now need to, uh, I wish I had done this beforehand and just gotten this right off the bat. Then I could have gotten a, you know, a one, uh, 128 gig and would have been perfect. It would have right from the start. I would have been able to put every game I wanted on through the one, uh, one stick and uh, gone to go. But if you're still having problems and uh, you know get, trying to find that perfect USB stick, pick one of these up. Okay, pick one of these up, um, pop it in, and uh, try all all of your try out all of your uh, all of your uh, USB sticks. Because I guarantee that may end up solving your problem right there. Something that somebody had told me, which I, which makes sense, is that the USB ports on the PlayStation are not powerful enough to be able to, you know, actually power some of these USB sticks. They need an independent power source. Um, the USB the ports on here are only designed to power the controllers. So they, they have a set, you know, they have a, like a maximum, um, God, what would, what would be the term for it? They have a maximum current, I guess you could say, um, 
which I think somebody said it was 100 amps. I'm not sure. I'd have to actually pull up the uh, the, the original post that I saw that on. Um, but as far as, like, it doesn't really matter to me about the actual, you know, amperage or anything like that. It's just whether it works or not. And this makes sense. These weren't designed to be able to power like a whole bunch of other devices. They weren't designed to charge your phone off of. Okay? So, um, yeah, just, yeah, just grab this hub. I guarantee that's probably going to fix 99% of the problems that you have trying to get the stupid thing to play. Um, so, yeah, I hope you guys found this helpful. Uh, please like and subscribe if you enjoy my content. And I will see you um, in the uh, comment section, hopefully, because let's get a conversation going. I'd like to be able to talk more about this. Um, I'm hoping to be able to stream some content um, from the Classic here soon. Right, I've started a um, Super Metroid uh, playthrough on the Super Nintendo Classic instead of just using the cartridge. And I do own the cartridge version of it as well. Um, so yeah, I am really looking forward to some of this stuff. And if anybody is interested, I wouldn't mind doing just a like a quick well not even a quick or just you know just a collection overview with the stuff I own on Super Nintendo or um, Xbox 360 or anything like that so yeah um, yeah like subscribe um, ring that bell if you want to hear whenever I post anything again all right see you guys in the next one hey thanks for watching if you enjoy my content, don't forget to smash that like button. If you're new to the channel, you can check out past videos here. Or you can click here to check out my newest upload. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell to stay notified on all future videos.